part of the reason why I'm even doing this particular project is because um, I was blessed enough to have like my actual hero and role model like in my house. Um, he um, has literally been everything that I could ask of a male figure when I want to look at him. I learned a few years ago some of the things that really um, kind of define who you are as a man, right? And two things happened in my life that really uh, gave me the, the, the idea of, okay, this is what being a man is about sometimes. Because a lot of times we just think about like, you go to work, you pay the bills, you, you have kids, you make sure that they are taken care of, you make sure that your wife is taken care of, and, and that's it, and that's all we are, and that's all that we're supposed to present. The two things that happened were, first thing was, um, in, in the song I say I had to hold him um, when my grandmother died. And so, my whole life, I'd seen my dad cry maybe once. Right, and I was at my mother's sister's funeral. Well, at this point it was different because it was his mother. And sitting there and watching, looking at my grandmother, and uh, it was the only grandparent that I, I grew up really knowing. Uh, so I was hurt about it, but I'm sitting next to Superman and Superman is hurt and he's, I could only imagine what he was really thinking about at the time because I had never seen him really let it out like that. And um, so I learned that part of being a man is the person that you think is Superman, sometimes you gotta pick them up and you gotta hold them up and you gotta make them feel like, they, um, like they're loved and, and, uh, and appreciated. The second part the second thing that happened was I was going through a really, really tough time about four years ago, four or five, three, four years ago. And um, I was really down on myself. It was a lot of things that weren't going well for me. And looking back on it, I'm not really sure if I really wanted, I don't really feel like I was a danger to myself in all, at all. Maybe I wasn't sometimes, maybe the way I was thinking, it was getting dark up there. And, uh, but I, I don't feel like I was a danger, but I wasn't really sure that I cared much if anything happened to me, right? So, man, my dad just like, he makes it easy for you to talk to him. And he doesn't judge you for what you've done or how you did it or why you did it. Um, he just listens to you, man. And he just, he just listened and um, he held me up, man. He, he, he held me up mentally, he held me up emotionally, and he held me up physically, like physically. I was, I was done, man. I was ready to, man, I don't really. So that's when I learned what being a man was really about, that it's okay to not feel good all the time. It's okay to feel good sometimes. It's okay to let it out, and it's okay to um, confide in the other men in your life if they hold you accountable the way that they should. Um, and there's a lot of things that he suggested that I do that I wouldn't have thought of if I didn't think he did it. My father comes from a lineage of men that were there. Um, my grandfather, uh, my uncles are all solid, decent men. They all are, are fathers to their children. They're all um, um, husbands to their wives. They're all uh, uh, people I can confide in, right? And my dad is just a, a, an example of that in my house. He's, he's all of those people all of those people that he's probably um, come across over the years. And uh, that's the reason why I wrote Junior, because 
one of the, you know, the hook being, do I make you proud of me? Because it's, it's always been, how do I make my father proud of what he sees? So it's, um, it was imperative that I write that song because it was just there and I needed to come out. So yeah, man, I, thank you, Dad. Um, thank you for being who you are, being who you are to your family, being, uh, being the man that I know that if I, if I could just be half, if I could just be half of who you are, uh, I think that I, I will have done a pretty good job. because 
Over the years, you've shown and you've proven to not only me, but yourself, that you can excel in anything that it is you decide you want to do. I'm proud of you because you're a decent man. I'm proud of you because you're sticking to your guns. You decided what it is you want to do. You do a wonderful job of it and it hasn't gone to your head. I'm proud of you because you are a loving person. You, whether you know it or not, bring me joy. And there's really no way to describe to you what that statement really means, but I love you so much that I'm proud of you for you being able to continue to push forward in this profession that you've decided to go on. I know it's been tough, but I do believe in my heart that you're going to end up where it is that you and that you're desiring to be. I'm just so proud of the work that you do, and I'm very proud that you're sticking with it. Keep up the good work. Love you. Make you proud of me.